Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel, it's your girl, Jessica Charms. Still getting her ass kicked by the goddamn jackass known as Archie. So, what happened last time? Well, this is what I got. Now, Andy can finally, and I say finally, in the loosest of terms, outspeed my Diana. By the time I get the gold back, I'm six sheets to useless. Speaking of, uh, speaking of six sheets to useless, may I introduce you to my team? I don't really know who else to change into, but I don't have a choice. This is just... I made a horrible team! I'm not going to deny it! I mean, I could, should, and definitely will have to do some more training. But against what? There's like not there's literally nothing else I can battle. I'm not going to get my only good move, my only good electric move, to my psychic type. Well, that's a horrible idea, because she can't do anything. It's not very effective, but seeing as I'm almost double its goddamn level, it's very effective and useful. Oh cool, I found a heart scale. I can use that in that other town to teach a Pokemon a move. Yeah. Not very useful, though. Because it can only learn to move up to the level it's at. So it's better off to hold on to those if you have a Pokemon that's at, like, level 100. So here you can get different TMs. I just have to remember what each one does or what each one is. But yeah. Yeah, and those are just pathetic and worthless. And of course. Alright, let's.
the way, fun fact, I actually hate roulette. I legit hate roulette. Even in real life, I hate roulette. I won free I won three coins. That's great. See, boys and girls, and that's why gambling sucks. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna teach secret power, but my my problem is still that it can't handle one. Even if I got an electric, it still wouldn't make a difference because I would have to level it up. I'd have to try to damage it. How far are you from leveling up? Because you're already outspeeding it. Would it just be better to go down and get a couple? No, I don't want to do that either. Yeah, I could go down and get... Yeah, I could. I could legitimately go down to Slayport City. I could get some... I could get some vitamins to level it up. No, I could take these idiots on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I hate uproar. Did I ever, did I mention how much I hate uproar? <laughs> and down goes Wishmer. And down goes Magnemite. Well, that's fun. By the way, I hate, I hate with a passion giving them an interview. Always have. No, it does just get you on TV, which isn't really that great. It legitimately isn't, so it's not exactly a love loss if you don't um, get on there.
Mm-hmm. And I, Jessica, will eventually stop you. Or die trying. See, I'm amazed how my keen eye doesn't affect that. Critical hit. No point, I don't have any other Pokemon that can fight you. Fighting type won't do very good against it. Ember can burn it. Provided it actually works. Stupid goddamn freaking, and there goes Joe. <sighs> All right, Jenny, you're up. I mean, we're gonna have to do some training, which means we're probably gonna have to go back up to Fall Arbor Town, which I hate going up to because it's a pain in the ass to get to. Oh, come on! Of course. Well, at least the accuracy dropped. Doesn't really seem like it, though. Hate, hate, hate this. Yeah. That's just it. It's not a very effective move. And wing attack is extremely powerful. I can't stretch this damn thing. If I could put it to sleep, but I'd have to move faster then. It was so blue. Okay. If I wanted to put it to sleep, I would have to move faster with Swablu, but I don't think Swablu could do that, so that's obviously a waste of time and effort. I can't poison it because it's a poison type, so that obviously isn't going to do any good. And even if I did that, I'd have to deal with Sharpedo. I don't have a decent rock type or a decent ground type to weather wing attack, and even if I leveled up Geodude that I have, it still wouldn't be enough. This is really pissing me off right now. I swear to God, this is pissing me off. Oh, look, an Oddish. So cute. I'm going to kill it. It survived? Oh, sweetie. You're coming to my team. Yeah. 
Not just yet. Alright. There's got to be... There's got to be one I can take on. There's got to be a Pokemon that I can get that I could level up. If I go for an Electric, that could work. I could go for a Plusle, or I could bring in Plusle or Minin, but they're still underleveled. That's problem two. And even if I did bring one of those in, there's no guarantee they would actually be enough to defeat this. That's my problem. And even if I did manage to actually beat it, which big ass if there, there's no guarantee that it would actually be successful. Oh, look, Volbeat. I kind of want to try to catch you. You know, if I don't take you down first. Hmm. Not just yet. All right, there has got to be. Okay, there's that hidden repel. There's a great ball, which will probably come in handy. I gotta find some Pokeballs. See, the problem is that to take on a Sharpedo, I either need to suck it up and use a fighting type move, like double kick, or an electric type move, because it's a water dark type. The downside is I don't have a decent way to get to it, because I have to take down Golbat. Golbat is a pain in the ass to fight. Even with its speed boost, it is a bitch to handle. I don't really know what I can do to fight it. That's my problem. Yeah, just getting a couple great balls, I guess. What happens to just selling regular Pokeballs? Yeah, can I get rid of some of my extra crap here? Yeah, Rock Tomb's not that good of a move, though. And plus, I think I'm... I mean, even if I could teach Rock Tomb... Okay. Let's say for a minute that Rock Tomb actually would work. Yeah, there's only two of them that can learn it. I am not giving it to Jill, because it's not worth it. And even if it does connect, it's still not going to take down Golbat. There's no guarantee of it. And again, TMs are one-time uses. Granted, Rock Tomb's not that good of a move, but I don't want to teach it. And then, 
find out, oh, I could use this later on, or, oh, hey, this could have came in handy later, and I'd be screwing myself to the wall on it. Down goes Roselia. Come on. It's got to be an answer that I'm not coming to in regards to this. There has to be. And in all fairness, I actually kind of wanted a female one, so that's why I was hoping to get a female level 14. Got ya. It's not going to do any good. I'm not going to go and try to get it. It's not going to do any good. Again, I would have to have already beaten Golbat. I could teach Rock Tomb to Sandshrew, but Sandshrew can't out speed it. It's a level 24. Its speed is already high. I would have to find a way to increase its speed, and there's no way to do that. Wish somebody had the surf TM, I could teach that Bob, but nobody has it. I don't even know where the hell the surf TM is in this goddamn game. There's something that I'm missing in this, and it's pissing me off that I'm missing it. I mean, okay, I have a Geodude. I could level up Geodude. That's not going to do me any good either. Because Wing Attack is just too damn strong. If I could track down the Quick Claw, which I don't think I have access to yet, I could use the Quick Claw to essentially take down and try to move first. Problem, I would still have to deal a decent amount of damage to it first. I have to have a move that could answer Golbat's weakness. Golbat is a poison flying type. Therefore, I would need a rock or psychic type move. Since it knows dark type moves like Astonish and, you know, Bite, I can't do anything. Now, if I had a normal type, well, ghost type moves wouldn't affect that, which ironically is good, but even the ghost type trainers know that. All right. I do have, I said, I have Dig, which is a ground type move, but I'd have to move first. Shockwave, I want to wait to teach, because you only, you only get the TMs are only good one time. I already have a Pokemon that knows Roar. That would be Sean, but I don't have him on my team right now because he's not very, he wouldn't be useful against any of them. Rock Tomb would be a good move, but it's not very powerful. And the only two that are able to learn it would be Sandshrew and Jill. But the accuracy of Rock Tomb is only 80. Its power is only 50. Even if it would hit and be effective, the problem is it wouldn't work. It's only a 10 power point move anyway. It's one of the most pathetic ones. Yeah, I know.
there has to be a way to beat this thing. There has to be. I can take down Mighty Anna with Jill, so long as Andy at least endures part of the battle. If I had Sean and Sean could actually move first against Golbat, I could use Roar to swap out Golbat for Sharpedo. The problem is I'm still up shit creek. Because then Max could just bring back in Golbat and I'm right back where I started again. I don't know how to, I don't know what to do with this. Okay, so my attack's automatically down. It's automatically cut because of And I'm protected by mist and keen eyes. It wouldn't make a difference either way. Okay, so Andy's down again. Starting to probably hate me by now. Let's send out Jill to finish this off. So far, the only one that's actually learning moves is Robin, which is sad. She's the only one that's actually gaining anything out of this. Now, if I swap out Zenny, provided we actually can land a hit, which in and of itself is going to be a miracle, you would think, okay, but she can't even take a hit from... She can't even take a hit. Why can't you confuse it? And then there we go. And I'm confused and I'm going to hurt myself. Oh, okay, cool. Actually, I didn't. But now that puts him into healing range. I'm still confused. And now I hurt myself. And that finishes me off. So we dealt a small little... you got to be fucking kidding me. Oh my god, I hate this game. I'm going to send out Sand True. I'm going to see if I can't lower its accuracy with Sand Attack. If I can do that, maybe I can use Jill. Maybe. It'll be really cutting it close. But if I can lower its accuracy all the way down. I mean, I like bottom this thing out. That might be the only chance I have at beating this. Okay, it's lowered by four stages. I don't think I'm going to get a fifth. No, I guess I am going to five. I am chucking so much sand in this thing's face it isn't funny. All right, and your accuracy cannot go any lower. There we go, now finally connected. But now I've lowered its accuracy so goddamn much. Hopefully that makes a difference. Maxi Hill's Super Potion. It's not going to... It's not going to restore the accuracy. You have to swap out for that. Son of a bitch. But hopefully. Uh, you... Come on! Oh my god. I hate this. 
So close. Well, I'm going to end up taking it out. It's, at least Bob's liable to gain some experience from this. Nope. Bob just goes down. Well, Robin, if you manage to take it out, you're going to get a shit ton of experience. Yep, that is what you call a shit ton of experience, folks. And now it's just Sharpedo, and I am no match for it, so might as well just finish it off and lose. Yep, there we go. I'm seven levels lower than it. All right. Join me next time as I continue this. No, bullshit. I'm going. No, bullshit. We're trying this. We're trying this night very good. I was close the last time because I used um, sand attack. So. If I can level Zenny up a little bit, I think that's. Yeah, I could use. Okay, I have one rare candy. Just one rare candy. That's all I have. How close are they to their next level? 1,400, 800. Okay. Let me just use it on you. That might up your speed. Just enough to outpace it. Barely enough. All right, now your speed's 33. You know what? I'm going to use the HP up two on you. There. Maybe that'll help a little bit. I should really go back and drag Sean into this fight. I mean, I want to level Bob up, but... I don't really have an answer. I, I don't have an answer to use Bob. I really don't. If I had Surf, which I would need to have Surf, but I think that's in the next town anyway. If I had Surf, I could say, okay, let's use Surf. Let's knock out. Um, let's knock this problem out, but Bob's still too weak. I have coughing, which I still have to nickname some of these, but oh yeah, look at that levitate. It's a damn good ability. It speeds pathetic, but it knows smog and poison gas. What do you have uh, move wise? Yeah, okay, you're pure bug. Great, you have confused ray, double team, moonlight. You're kidding me. Great, that's just beautiful. And then of course, um, Roselia, which I will be leveling up because it can't evolve in this one. So I finally have a decent grass type Pokemon to use. And of course, it has two decent um, grass moves. Yeah, I'm definitely going to level up um, Charlotte. I got to level up uh, Ninkata to get Shedinja, but we need. If I can get Sean out. What's Sean's speed anyway? Out of curiosity. What is your speed? Your speed's 45. Let me give you the badass black sunglasses. Because you're the only one that actually has a dark type move in the form of bite. Your speed's faster than... Oh, Geodude. Or is it going to be a Graveler? Nope, Geodude. Level. Pathetic. Andy, wipe the floor with it. Down it goes. Okay. All right, Route 112. I mean, if I'm getting my ass kicked by Archie, that's a problem, which means that taking on taking on the fire bitch is really gonna kick my ass. She's gonna she's gonna whoop my ass. I can feel it now. She's just gonna beat me to the ground, isn't she? 
God damn it. All right. See what I got. I bet there's like no items around here. Like I said, I wish that the. I don't think I have access to the Quick Claw yet, which sucks. But at least some of my Pokemon are getting some decent levels. Now, if Sean has the speed to pull this off, which, by the way, I did not even realize that. I might have probably just been screwing myself this entire episode. But. I mean, we're gonna have to bat we're gonna have to level up um Bob because rollout in combination with defense curl and water gun is good. Plus Meryl is a good one to teach surf to. Okay, here's my Deanna. Now Andy will take the intimidate, which is fine. I'm gonna lower its attack. At least as best I can. So I outspeed it. It can't harm me with its sand attack because it won't lower my ability. It can just damage me. But at least by taking it down with, you know, at least using that does help. Now I can bring Jill out to finish it off because that's easy to do. Because it's a pure dark type, and it's double weak to fighting. Well, yeah, it's well double weak, yeah. It's super effective, so that'll definitely work. Now, let's try the new strategy of bringing out Sean. <laughs> Which, if this is the case, God help me if I had this fucking wrong. That will piss me off, but... Alright. Now your attack goes down because of Intimidate. I should be outspeeding you, which I don't! But how the hell? Yeah, but my okay. So wing attack definitely does make a difference. Okay, but bites definitely helping. Now it's in heal range, so Archie's gonna heal. But, too little, too late. But since I lowered its attack with Intimidate, Zenny should be able to hopefully take it down. Unless it uses Bite. In which case, it's going to make me flinch. Oh no, cool, it didn't. And it goes down! Oh, thank you, sweet merciful god. Alright, now... Because Zenny's completely useless against that one, let's try Jill. Because it is a, a dark type. So, effectively, double kick should work. I'll take damage from rough skin, but I should be able to damage it really well. It moves faster than I do, though. Damn it. Yeah, it's going to, but I should be able to take it out in a two hit. And we finally take it down. Oh, thank you, sweet merciful god! And we get a double level up. Oh, thank you. Thank you, sweet merciful god! What off guard did you kick my ass? How many times did you kick my ass? fair, on both games, you're both evil. In Emerald, the both of you combined are pure evil. So, get off your high horse and shove it. Alright, now I can finally leave this nightmare. But, we're about to go into the next part. I want to get to the next town that I'm going to save, because the next part, the next path is a bitch and a half to get through. I'm good. I thought I was going to Battling that guy. And this is where Spoink love to hide. And Spoink are very strong. And I don't think Zenny can take them on. 
Not even close. Yeah, no shit. It's not very effective. We're both psychic types! I knew it was going to take it out, though. The only downside is that you are effective against Jill, but... I'm going to see if I can't catch you. The great ball. Got ya. So I caught Spoink. That evolves into Grum Pig, and it's not. Actually, both of them suck, in <laughs> my opinion. I mean, I have the perfect Pokemon team in my head. Damn it. I hate this. I hate this random. Like, the little second you show up. That hurt. Yep. Alright. And then there were two. Just Jill and Robin left. Okay. Not a fall from the grass types. I'm not going to change out. I just, I'll burn them. Not really, because your Pokemon are at a slightly higher level than mine, so there's really no point. Oh yeah, very effective. All right. Welcome, everybody, to Loveridge Town. Okay, everybody's back to full strength again. Yay. This is the weirdest part. I never understood what the point of this hot spring was. I never exactly understood what the point of that was, but, oh well, okay, but that's where I'm going to call it though for this episode, guys, because in the next episode, we're going to try our damnedest to take on the gym leader. We're going to lose. <laughs> we're going to lose bad, but hopefully we won't. Until next time, guys. Bye.